I prefer the real. Thorn. I said the real. Thorn. Perfection. Hey guys, this is going to be a little different to the standard commentary that I would do. It's more of kind of a weapon rundown type deal. But uh, yeah, we're going to go over Lumina and Rose, and we shall get straight into it. Basic information to start off with, both Lumina and Rose are new 150 hand cannons. They're 150s, so they are in the lightweight class, so you get two extra mobility when you are running around with them out, which means your strafe speed is faster for your hand cannon use. 150s are a pretty damn competitive archetype. If Last Word wasn't in the game, they would be the most competitive archetype of hand cannon in the game. Uh, overall, both of them are pretty solid. That's the general overview for both. So Rose, which is the legendary variant of the Lumina, or the kind of precursor to it, has Outlaw, and that is the only relevant perk on the entire thing. It in general feels really crispy, and it's just real, real solid. It's legendary, it's new, so it's got access to a mod slot, so you can slap an Icarus on there, and it is pretty crispy. A side note, Rose has 11 rounds in the mag, and Lumina has 12. As for Lumina, we have slightly more interesting stuff going on the perks. So its gimmick is similarly to Thorn. Uh, it has a uh, kind of remnant thing going on. But yeah, so Lumina, you get a kill with it. You get a remnant by that enemy's body. The remnant comes to you like it does on Thorn within a certain radius. When that remnant comes to you, it gives you two to three bullets back in your magazine, just like Thorn. And instead of doing the Thorn increased DOT bullets, it gives you a noble round when you hip fire. So this is a round that is tracking, that bounces off surfaces, and it tracks your teammates. When you hit a teammate with it, it gives them a bunch of health regen. Not sure how much health regen per second. And it gives the both of you a damage buff for 10 seconds. The damage buff gives the both of you I think 21% or 19% increased damage in PvP, something in that kind of order of magnitude. In terms of what that actually does for you, it's going to let you two head one body with Lumina. That's pretty much it as far as the weapon goes. Um, in terms of the damage buff, uh, like synergy with other weapons, as far as I know, with an aggressive frame sniper, you can body shot with it. If you have a Limonarch, you can one-hit people to the head and burn them out. And if you are using a Sturm with Overcharge, it will one-hit people to the head as well. Next, let's look at some really boring wall recoil pattern tests. So you'll have those up on the screen right now. In short, it, Rose has really, really nice recoil and it somewhat breaks out of some of the weird things that 150s do. One of the main things that happened to 150s when they nerfed them going from Season 3 into Season 4, because in Season 3, 150s were a super meta hand cannon archetype and there was no reason to ever use anything else. So what they did is they nerfed the hell out of the recoil on them. Um, and basically you should be able to see in these clips that with 150s, the first shot will often recoil to up and the like up and right basically quite a bit and then the rest of the shots after that will very consistently recoil just straight up in a line um rose breaks out of that a little bit in that it kind of it kind of wavers back and forth in just a straight line upwards um which means that its recoil pattern, at least to me, feels a lot more consistent than most 150s, and as a result, I find it it feels just really crispy. The other thing is it may just have slightly bigger hitboxes than other 150s, similar to how um, Ostringer has very big hitboxes or Ace of Spades has very big hitboxes. 150s tend to have tighter hitboxes than things like that, but it may well be, be that Rose just has bigger hitboxes similar to that. Anyway, yeah, you should have seen some wall testing clips here. I may let a few more play and then we'll jump into more gameplay or something. Just clips of the both of them, but yeah. Overall, so far, I'm really, really liking Rose. 
in terms of legendary options for primaries for uh, like a kinetic hand cannon it is by far my go-to like i would definitely use that over anything else at the moment um and yeah it's it's nice to have a decent feeling legendary option to open up the potential to use exotic heavies or I suppose to use with Lord of Wolves if I'm coming up against people in comp using it and being scumbags. But yeah, I really like it. I've had a lot of fun with it today. And you should definitely, definitely not sleep on Rose just because you've got Lumina. And it consumed it and you think that you don't need it anymore. Definitely pull that thing out of collections. Probably masterwork it and give it a try because it's... Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. It is real, real good. As for Lumina, um, I just I don't like it as much. It's it's I don't dislike it as much as I dislike Thorn, but it's just exceedingly average to me. You know, like Rose feels even crispier than Spare Rations kind of thing. Like Rose reminds me of like OG Dire Promise days type of thing, whereas. Lumina is just okay, you know, it's just, it's a generic hand cannon. It has a mildly interesting mechanic, which I think could be kind of fun if you were running with some teammates, like if you're in a two stack in quick play, it could probably be quite a bit of fun going, like running together with Rose and going back and forth healing each other with the noble rounds and things, but I haven't done that yet and yeah, I, I played solo for basically all of my videos, so you won't really see that from me. But yeah, I will catch you guys later.